Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at Elastic Network Components on AWS. ENI stands for Elastic Network Interface. It's a logical networking component in a VPC, that represents a virtual network card. You can create and configure ENIs, and attach them to EC2 instances in your VPC. ENA stands for Elastic Network Adapter. It's one of the mechanisms that enhanced networking offers, using single-root I.O. virtualization, to provide high-performance networking for supported EC2 instance types. Enhanced networking offers Elastic Network Adapter and Intel 82599 Virtual Function Interface. EFA stands for Elastic Fabric Adapter. It's a network device that you can attach to your EC2 instance, to accelerate high-performance computing or HPC and machine learning applications. An ENI is a virtual network interface attached to an EC2 instance in your VPC. Each ENI can have one primary private IPv4 address, and multiple secondary private IPv4 addresses, from the IP range of your VPC. It can also have one elastic IP per private IPv4 address, one public IPv4 address, and multiple IPv6 addresses. It can also include multiple security groups, a MAC address, a source and destination check flag, and a description. Each EC2 instance has a default network interface which is the primary ENI. The primary ENI is automatically attached to the instance, when you create the instance. You cannot detach the primary ENI from the instance. You can create and attach an additional ENI to any instance, or detach it from one instance and reattach it to another instance. The attributes of the ENI follows it, as it's moving from one instance to another. When the ENI is attached to a new instance, the network traffic is redirected to that instance. You can create an ENI in any subnet, however you cannot move the ENI to another subnet after it's been created. You can only attach the ENI to instances in the same availability zone. An EC2 instance can have multiple ENIs in different subnets, but in the same availability zone, referred as the dual homed instance. A dual homed instance can connect to resources in different networks. For example, you can create a dual homed instance with a public facing ENI to handle internet requests, and a private ENI for access from a private network. An EC2 instance can have multiple ENIs attached to it. Here are some common use cases for multiple ENIs. You may want to create a managed network, by using public and private ENIs and security groups for your instance. You can use network and security appliances with multi-ENI configuration, such as load balancers, NAT devices, and proxy servers. You can create dual homed EC2 instances with workloads or roles in different subnets. With multiple ENIs, you can create a low budget and high availability solution, which enables quick failover by attaching the ENI to the standby instance. Enhanced networking is an advanced networking feature that you can configure for your EC2 instance. It uses single root IO virtualization to provide high performance networking. All current generation instance types except for T2 instances support enhanced networking. Enhanced networking provides higher bandwidth, higher packet per second, and consistently lower inter-instance latencies. There is no additional charge to use enhanced networking for your EC2 instance. Single Root I.O. Virtualization or SRIOV is a method of device virtualization, which provides high I.O. performance and low CPU utilization for your instance. Here's how SRIOV works at a high level. In a typical virtual environment, there is a hypervisor running on top of the hardware. The hypervisor creates and runs the VMs. It also manages the networking and security for the VMs, by providing the virtual switch between VMs and physical functions on the hardware. Because the hypervisor needs to perform the resource sharing on behalf of the VMs. This often results in poor I.O. performance. Single root I.O. virtualization improves I.O. performance, by providing the device virtualization with virtual functions on the hardware. It allows VMs to bypass the hypervisor and talk to the hardware directly, which results in much higher performance. AWS offers two enhanced networking options, ENA and Intel VF interface. Elastic Network Adapter or ENA can provide network speed up to 100 gigabits per second. You can enable ENA on most current generation EC2 instances, except for the C4, D2 instance types, and M4 instances that are smaller than M4 16 extra large. ENA is recommended for new instance types. Intel 82599 VF interface can provide network speed up to 10 gigabits per second. It's recommended only for old instance types. 
You can enable Intel VF interface on C3, C4, D2, I2 and R3 instance types, and M4 instances that are smaller than M4 16 extra large. Elastic Fabric Adapter or EFA is a network device that you can attach to your EC2 instance to accelerate HPC and machine learning applications. An EFA provides all the functionality of the ENA with an additional OS bypass functionality. OS Bypass is an access model that allows HPC and machine learning applications to talk to the network interface hardware directly, for low latency and reliable transport functionality. Traditionally, HPC applications use Message Passing Interface or MPI, to interface with the network transport in the user space. HPC applications use the TCP IP stack and ENA driver in the kernel, to enable communication between instances in the HPC cluster. The user space is where all user applications execute. Normally, applications in user space make calls into kernel to perform privileged operations, such as I.O. commands to network or storage devices. Kernel is where the operating system and devices drivers are running. Transitions between user space and kernel require context switching, such as processing and saving kernel context, which can limit application performance. With the EFA device, HPC and machine learning applications can use MPI or NCCL to interface with the LibFabric API that enables applications to bypass the kernel and communicates directly with the EFA device. This reduces the overhead of context switching between user space and kernel and makes HPC applications to run more efficiently. EFA provides lower latency and higher throughput than the TCP transport that was traditionally used in cloud-based HPC systems. It improves the performance of inter-instance communication critical for scaling HPC and machine learning applications. The OS bypass capabilities of EFAs are only supported on Linux and not supported for Windows. If you attach an EFA to a Windows instance, it functions as an ENA without the OS bypass. EFA OS bypass traffic is limited to a single subnet, which means it cannot leave for a different subnet. However, normal IP traffic from the EFA can be sent from one subnet to another. EFA OS bypass traffic is not routable. However, normal IP traffic from EFA is still routable. In order to use EFA, you need to configure a security group that allows all inbound and outbound traffic to the security group itself. In this episode, we've learned elastic network components on AWS. ENI is a logical networking component that represents a virtual network card and a VPC. You can create and configure ENIs and attach them to EC2 instances in your VPC. ENA is one of the mechanisms that enhanced networking offers, using SRIOV to provide high-performance networking for supported instances. Enhanced networking offers ENA and Intel VF interface. EFA is a network device that you can attach to your instance to accelerate HPC and machine learning applications. Okay, that's all for Elastic Network Components. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!